for part D of this video. Uh, I'm going to duplicate our rafter component and quickly frame up a roof for our little shed. So this is the rafter we created in the last uh, few video clips. Uh, before I leave this, um, I'm going to create a fascia component just so we have it and get rid of this some of these guy, these guidelines and I'm uh, probably cluttering this up a little bit by putting that guideline outside of the component edit mode of the rafter sometimes that can confuse things but I'm just going to draw oops just going to draw a Uh, piece here that will represent fascia when we get to it. And I'm going to try to get the intersection of these two lines and draw horizontally. And we'll use a 2x6 for fascia. Five and a half inches. And you can see the inference as I draw the lines, they're going on red, blue, green axis so that I know I'm drawing all in one plane. Now I've created a rectangle. I'll get rid of this guideline, which is outside of the component. Double click this and turn it into a fascia component. That's done. And then I double click the rafter to enter into the rafter edit, rafter component edit mode. Get rid of those two guidelines. I'm back out of the rafter component edit mode. Select a rafter and here's a trick. I want to make a rafter for the other side of the shed and you can use the rotate tool and all kinds of things but a real slick way to do it is to select the component, choose the scale tool, oops, back one step, select the component, copy the component, paste the component. Now I have another one of those guys. Identical. I'll grab the scale tool and zoom in and grab this middle handle on the end. There's three little green squares. I'm going to grab the middle one and pull it through to a negative one. Use the zoom extent tool and you can see that that rafter has um, you know, made exact copy of it and it's just a mirror image of our original rafter. And now we can do a little bit of SketchUp magic here. I'm going to put this rafter next to our first one. And unless I missed something on the scaling, which it looks like it's good, I'll zoom in here. The rafters meet up, and this rafter uh, lines up perfectly on the outside of the sheathing and lines up with the inside of the wall plate, so we have an exact duplicate. So there's our rafters. Um, something you'll notice is that there's no room for a ridge in here. And we'll fix that right now pretty simply. And this is where I really like using components for drawing. I'll cl double click one of these rafters. It doesn't matter which one. They're both copies of the same component. So whatever I do to any one copy of that component, it changes them all. So I've double clicked in to get into the component edit mode and I'm going to draw a guideline here three quarters of an inch off the center of uh, our where the rafters meet. And here's a little bit of SketchUp magic. I'll draw a rectangle around this. So what I've done is selected the face that represents the end of the rafter. I'll, um, and now all I want to do is move that face and I think to make this a little, electric, a little less tricky I'll put one more guide in here that represents the top of that. Now go back and select the geometry that represents that face. Grab the move tool and I'm just going to move this point down to the intersecting lines. You can see that it moved the other rafter exactly the same amount. Um, we'll erase our guidelines takes them out of both components. And with that process, I've shortened our component rafter enough to allow a ridge to go through, uh, assuming we're going to use an inch and a half thick ridge. 
So a little more magic will um, take these two components. And there I was dragging right to left, which selects everything the dotted line touches. And I'm going to move these rafters. I've selected the Move tool. Hitting the Control key will create a copy that's moved. And I'm just going to, oops, did a bad job of uh, dragging there. So I'm going to go back, grab these two, Move tool, zoom in, hit the Control key. I'm going to start in the direction I want. I missed it again. A little bit tricky sometimes to get the program to, or to actually to make my hand <laughs> drag this the right direction. Here again, control, sliding it down this way. There we go. We got a good start. I'm the 16 inches. And it creates a copy of the rafter, moves it 16 inches, and then I want to create enough rafters to finish up the shed. And um, I got that goofed up. Okay, there it moved it. And then I want to go create enough rafters to finish up the shed. You get to take the zoom extents. And oh, there was a typo. I wanted to create 10 rafters and I created 100. Son of a gun. Oh well, the fun and beauty of SketchUp is I can change that to 12 uh, rafters and delete 88 of them. And not even make the boss nervous. Uh, these last two are beyond the edge of the shed. We'll quickly select these two and move them without using um, the control key, and that'll just shift these rafters so they're flush with the end of the shed. And there we've created a rafter, duplicated it, laid it out, and uh, our doorless wonder shed has a roof.